Father, I shall the one, the first and foremost, and I give all praise this morning and glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, who this world so ignorantly calls God and his Christ, whose true names are Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ha-Rachakodash. All right. The will honor speak the apostles and elders and great hosts of the new world and to us as much percentage of Much peace and blessings be unto you. We bless our heavens and not to the world of the world. So while you rock the music, shall be wrong. All right, uh, you know, we want to go into a quick you know, lesson at the year. We want to know how we honor the devil and the father, Yahweh, by Hashem, and Rishai. Honoring our parents, man, our biological parents. All right, because you see, one of the one of the commandments that was given to us, all right, by our forefather Moses, which is really from the Lord, was uh, honor by parents, man. You know, and ultimately that's an obligation we gotta keep, and that that obligation is a commitment that will please the Lord. It is one of the you know right hand ways of the Lord, actually. As a matter of fact, uh, the book of Proverbs, third chapter, verse Chapter three, chapter three, verse one. It does make the mention. Uh, my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. You know, keep my commandments. Length of days and long life and peace shall be added to thee. You see, all right. These are the ways. These are the right hand ways which please the Lord and you know belong. Or else the Lord will you know basically take you out. He'll pick you up, man. All right, by that, you know, you you basically exterminate you. All right, kill you. And, you know, actually, I'm going to get another precept going into that. That's what I'm going to start off in the book, book of Ezekiel, the 18th chapter. You know, hey, but you had that bicyclist that just came by. You didn't see him, but he, just, he, he, he was looking at me the whole time. He just, just walked out, man. He just rode off. Hey, you know, the, the, the wicked, what's it called, um, flee when no man pursueth, roughly paraphrasing right there. Hey, you see? Hey, this guy don't want to hear the word. Hey, he, he just sleep for nothing. If anything, the Lord could put the spirit upon him to uh, take heed and, you know, be a dude. You know? It's called make his, make, make, make his life a commitment to the Lord. He's become one of the followers, man. But instead, he just ran off. But see, people like that, that don't want to hear this word, you know, that they want to live in wickedness and things of that sort. Well, you know, what's it called? The precept, Proverbs the 13th chapter, let's make the mention now. You know, uh, they, they that despise the word shall be destroyed. All right, that's point blank period. But you know, uh, as you can see, I'm back in my hometown after being out for all the fire season. The fire season was fucking hell. Uh, oh, I hated that. Proverbs the 13th chapter. Verse 13, whoso despises the word, despise meaning to hate, or right, to utterly detest. And if you utterly detest, you know, this living waters, you know, this, 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 this real water, man, then, yeah, you, the Lord will just have you starve, man. And you'll wither away like an anorexic cunt and pass away. And to the dust shalt thou return, and thy spirit shall return to the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shemel, You know, it's because you're not fit to live. You know, you're just existing. And as the scriptures say, in the, I, I believe it was in the Apocrypha, Apocrypha I made a mention, I will let that, what's it called, vain multitude perish. I believe that was in the second, it's in the ninth chapter, so ninth chapter, something like that. Yeah, let, let the, what's it called, multitude that was born in vain perish. As a matter of fact, you had a quote by uh, MLK, which obviously we know MLK was, you know, was a demon. You know, he, he wasn't all right. He called, uh, but one of the one of the quotes he stated, which is heavy and you can apply it to, to us to this day is, you know, he that has nothing to die for, you know, referring to a cause, a purpose, back for something greater. He is not fit to live. You know, so all these guys aren't fit to live if they don't, you know, want to do something about their fucking, you know, boring existing lives, man. That's why you even see that in movies too, where like it's about, you know, someone hating this, you know, same day to day, that they try and strive for something bad. That's what we're doing, man. And we're we'll trying for something better. As a matter of fact, this group that we do is an insurance, you know. And Lord will, you know, we're guaranteed a, a position, you know, up in the, up in the, what's it called, kingdom, man. All right, and it's coming soon. 
Raiders coming soon. And you have all the poppers coming out to play, man. You know, both of them is about to start getting you know, pick off. And with that being said, at the MLTV, you know, you know, what's it called, uh, EMP, you know, all that stuff, ICBM shit, deliverance of the chariots, you know, things of that sort. They're all coming to play. And, and we have next. So, again, the spice of the war shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. And so reward, you know, a compensation. And insurance, in a sense, is a compensation, man. So we shall be rewarded. Uh, verse 14, the law of the wise is a bounty of the law to depart from the snares of death. Depart from the snares of death. You know, see, this is the law of the wise, man. All right, it is given to prudent men. All right, this is, this is counsel, this is sound advice. You know? Part, to depart meaning to um, what's it called step away you know you'll separate yourself from the snares of death snare meaning a trap and there's many entrapments to this you know what's it called dying in this place man as a matter of fact in this judgment that I actually little voice of freaking die the Lord will kill you in any sort of way you could have that tree you know you know what's it called falling or you could have a widow maker you know which is a big branch from a tree just collapse on you not the whole tree itself man he could immediately, you know, bring lightning, even though there's not raining, there's no thunderstorm, he could have lightning to strike you down. Know? Alright, there's been instances where that was the case, alright? Case in point with being Elijah, which actually, Elijah is engraved onto the cement down there, where this stand is, you know, positioned. So that, that's the spirit right there, but you know, you had Elijah, what's to call it, uh, you know, what's to call it, send the, send the, the offering to the Lord when he was, uh, what's it called, testing uh, the prophets of Baal to see if their God was real, even though there wasn't. And then he, he Elijah sent the offering to Yahweh by the Heavenly Father. You know, the, the Heavenly Father, and he, 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 he consumed it with the fire, man. He smote it down. It was in the example of why you have no word. Playing day like this, all right, you can have what's it called, uh, an earthquake happen. 7.0, you know, magnitude earthquake and everything collapsed. I could literally get consumed by the earth. Like, you had that one guy, I, I forget his name. It was, it was a quote. I forget his name. Such a letter K. But that, that man, what's it called? What's it called? Inside like rebellion against Moses. And then the Lord had him and his men, you know, get consumed. All right, the, the earth opened her mouth and it consumed them. The Lord could have that happen. Or the Lord could have a freaking sea would just, you know, peck me to death. I don't know. There's so many ways of how the Lord can kill people. Well, also, it's not only little, little ways of life, but also you die by what's it called your actions, man. All right, you know what, what's it called? Uh, philosophies. This place promotes all that left-handed ways, man. All right, you know, America meaning a magra. Everything is bitter. Everything is backwards. You know, if, if anything is backwards, it's bitter. All right, it, it doesn't please us. All right, you know, even women aren't pleased. You know, sure they have the the. the Ability to be independent, you know, they're in that independent spirit, you know, they're all haughty, you know, they think they can do whatever they want. But deep down, they're achy, man. You know, they're bitter. Right? Uh, they, they want it, man. They had that Barbie movie show, and that Barbie movie, uh, when it was shown, when it was premiering, showing on, 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 the, on the screen, it's called the uh, Barbie Land is full of matriarchy, you know, it's full of women in power. Whereas, you know, this world, the real world, is ruled by men. And what's it called when you had Ken and Barbie going to the real world? Ken started adopting, you know, patriarchy patriarchic you know ways and applying it to barbie world while, while barbie was still in the real world and what then it happened was that you know all of barbie land was, was ruled by men and the and the women instead of them being in power in congress and all that stuff they were they were serving the men and they were happy all right you know they, they, they were happy to the men hey would you like a glass of water you know here you go here you go my lord my lord but then when they snap back with that with that left-handed way philosophy, you know, they start bugging out and they start being back to the irritated spirit they once wasn't. So just like that, that's like you have these women now, you man. Everything is bitter. So not only is everything against this white man, but even the women are are are, are in ache. Alright, it's not until like they're 30 or 40 years old when they start realizing the mistakes, like, damn, I could have done this and that third, but instead I was, you know, you know, being a bitch, being, you know, being a whore. You know? What's going on? So, uh, apart from the snares of death, so we have these ethnic ways, you know, these vain sciences, these, uh, what's that word? Ideologies that don't profit. So, 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get out. Book of Ezekiel, the 18th chapter now. And go back to the main topic. Just went by parents. Help with the spirit. So call a lot of my help, I should never shout you when that happens. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, because now you're just packing more, you know, packing more and more into this muscle. So, I'm going to start off with verse 1 of the 18th chapter of the book of Ezekiel. It reads, The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, What mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have been inside of the As I live, saith the Lord, that I will. He shall not have occasion in the Jesus prophet in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinned, they shall die. Or, you know, I was willing to, I was, what's it called, listening to a lesson to one of the God and he went to how even the, 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 the angels in the spirit world, the ones perfected, you know, they're, they're even a, a fragment of the spirit of the Lord. All right, and you see how uh, he brought the, the example of how yeah, our forefathers, whenever they encounter an angel, you know, they, they all fall face flat on the ground, bowing down and, you know, worshiping. But, you know, then you have the angel say, you know, worship me now because I am your brother. Uh, you know, and another another brother was one into how, how angels are, are Israelites as well, man. Because brothers. You know, but, then you also call it, uh, what was I going to say? I had a brain fart. Yeah, so, you know, it's like, What's it called? The Akim I was referring to in the first place it was using the analogy of, hey man, don't bow down to me. You, you haven't seen nothing yet. Or you haven't seen nothing yet. I'm just a fragment of, 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 of you know, imagine him. So if an angel is that terrifying, now imagine the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by a shot. You know, how fearful would it be to be face to face with him? It would be a very, very terrible thing, man. Alright? A thousand times worse than looking at an angel. Like, just like how the angels are a fragment of the Lord, we're also a fragment of the Lord, man. You know, all spirits are of the Lord. All spirits are of the Lord. You know, the Lord would not, not kill. So, like, an example would be the nation of Edom, because we all know Esau will burn up in a big old bomb. The thing is, they won't be literally, cut, or, like, the spirits won't be completely right back. No. All right, because that'll be like the most high Yahweh, you know, like killing a part of himself. Hey, the Lord don't do that. The Lord ain't going to kill a part of himself. So what he would do is just wipe out that line, completely wipe it out from existence, and only bring the what's it called those same spirits who recycle them onto the heathen nation. So that's how the Lord works, man. He's not gonna kill a part of it himself, right? Because all spirits are all the Lord. So behold, all souls are mine. All souls are mine. My soul, your soul, the human soul. Hey, these worthless people's the souls. All right, so this whole block is fucking worthless. But all these souls belong to the heavenly Father still. And that's why going back to Ecclesiastes, he does make the mention how, you know, what's it called? Uh, the spirit go back to the hand that gave him. The hand that gave him. That hand is the Father's, man. All right, so, uh, so the, as a soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, they shall die. Which can man be just and do that which is lawful and right. And that not eaten up with him, which still have lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel. He that the Father's neighbor's wife, neither hath come near to minister with women. And not oppressed any, but every stool that to debtor his pledge had spoiled none by violence, hath given his bread to the hungry, and covered the naked to the room. He that hath not given forth upon usury. And it's just going into the day that day that was it called? Keep the laws that didn't transgress him. All right, these are all transgressions, man. So he that hath not given forth upon usury, he that hath taken any increase, hath withdrawn his hand from iniquity, hath executed true judgment between man and man, hath walked in my statutes. And hath kept my judgments. He truly be his just. He shall surely live, saith the Lord your house. Alright, see? So the ones that, you know, fulfill the duties and obligation, man, which is the law that was given unto us. For as in Psalms 147, chapter verse 19, they make, make the mention now unto Jacob have I given my statutes, man. So those that, those that you know, keep those statutes and do them to the best of their ability, those men shall surely live. Hey, but those that detest the word and not, you know, take heed, not to not partake. All right, disregardless, you know, commandments that was given unto us, the Lord shall kill you, man. The Lord shall utterly smite you. You know, 
know, you don't want no guy, you know, popping some some his neighbor's wife, man. You know, what's it called? Uh, eating pork and talking about a lot and, and and what's it called? Thor and all those balls got hell. Thor don't like that, man. So, uh, if he got a son, if he got a son, but I shed those blood and I do it like the end of these things and I do it on any of those duties. Even at eating up on the nuns and followed this neighbor's wife at the quest of poor and needy and as world by violence and now this world of pleasure and lifted up his eyes to the idols and committed abomination and given forth the misery and have taken any means shall he live? Shall he then live? No, he shall not live. Alright, again. Have given forth upon usury and have taken any means. Shall we live? Shall we then live? All right, that's a question mark. You know, asking us, shall he live? And the answer is no. And it even says, he shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. All right, now, blood is upon him. When, when one says, you know, would you rather have his or her blood on your hands? That means, you know, you're about to kill, you know, you're going to have that person die. And it's going to be upon you. The fault's going to be on you. You know, go directly or indirectly. So that's why it says that you know, the blood shall be upon him until he's you know, Each of us individually, we, we have the, what's it called, the ability to, to uh, fix our mistakes, man. You know, ultimately it's all through the Spirit if he allows it, but what's it called, work out thine own salvation, the scriptures say. You know, if you, if you don't get saved, you're going you're gonna to get smoked, right? Your blood's upon your hands, man. Work out thine own salvation. He gives me all the wages of sin is death. So we, you know, we, we become, you know, what's it called, it's called the uh, servants of righteousness and not sin. And that's in Romans the sixth chapter that goes into that. Hey, our flesh should not be upon our own hands, man. Alright? Hey, we're here to fulfill an obligation and have the and and, and, and we called over the guarantee uh, the guarantee of uh, of eternal life, man. You know, life, living. You know, that's why we're not trying to, you know, commit to all these iniquities. Sure we do them, you know, sometimes because we're in the flesh, you know. But it's mostly unwilling. You know, but what's it called? It's about getting back, getting yourself back up and keep on trying, man. And you have people out there that, that, that fall and then just stay in mischief. You know, they, they give up. You know, your blood's going to be upon your hands, man, because you keep on, you know, committing iniquity. And what's it called? And James, the first chapter, made the mention of sin leads to sin that adds to sin, adds to death. So, we don't want to so again, he shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. All right, so, uh, I'm diving back to the blessing. You know, what's it called? Uh, you are the truth of the Lord. All right. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, Shah, He is our Father, and we are to honor Him. All right, we honor Him by keeping His law. Okay. Hell, we even honor Him through honoring our biological parents, which is a main topic of the blessing. Huh? So, I'm honored. Honor, that word honor. It's called, uh, I got the book of Malachi. The first chapter. Verse 6. Alright, uh. A son on earth is father, and a servant is master. If then I be a father, where it's mine. And if I be a master, where it's my fear, saith the Lord of hosts, unto you, O you priests, Christ, and I well, the point right there was, and if I, if I be a, if then I be a father, where's my honor? If then I be a master, where's my fear? You know, in honor and fear, you could go, it could go hand in hand because the fear of the Lord, you know, is, uh, you know, keep, keep his ways, man. What's it called? Honor means to, uh, honor means an adherence to fulfill, what's it called? An adherence to, uh, a, to something. All right, a commitment to something. You know, an obligation you must fulfill. A, a, a duty, you know, we must keep. All right, an agreement you made, and you're gonna carry that out. An agreement, another being worth the covenant. 
that we made that covenant with the Father back in the ancient world, we shall keep these ones, man. We shall honor these laws, we shall honor the Father. And we do that by, by keeping the laws, man. You know, uh, so, uh, the creature that comes to mind, you want to bring it out. I can find it in the book of the Lord. Yes, so this is 12 chapter. with me uh, yeah all right so the book of Ecclesiastes the 12th chapter all right uh, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter all right you know, basically the sum some the whole point some of the whole point your TLDR on Reddit you know this some of the whole point is called when you're writing down a paragraph you have the uh, what's it called uh, main points and then at the bottom of the conclusion sum up everything together. So let us see the conclusion of the whole man. Here Yahweh and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man. And not just any man but the Israelite man of the Lord because again in the book of Psalms 147 chapter they made the mention unto Jacob and I give him my statutes and none else. Alright and what's it called? Deuteronomy the fifth chapter make the mention now they shall be, you know, the law shall be our wisdom. That's what called our wisdom in the sight of, of, of all the other nations. All right, the nation of Israel is above all nations. We are separated from the rest of the mass of, of, of the human species, the human race. You know, that's point blank period, man. Okay, to the heathen, it is not given them yet. All right, but as prophesied, you know, it's called they shall do. And then I hear the second chapter, and I could. I believe it was uh, the seventh chapter of the book of Micah. And they make the mention, but that's future prophecy, where they shall keep the laws in the kingdom. Right now, it is not so. Yeah, Psalms. It's a lot of people back there. Like with me. So Psalms of the Lord, 47 is a chapter. Verse, I believe it was verse, yeah. So, verse uh, 19. He and that he is referring to the Father, right? The Lord God, the Lord power, the Lord Yahweh. Yahweh meaning what's it called? He exists. Yah is root word for he. He power meaning to exist. He exists. He is. He to be. There is what's it called an organic biological trumpets, you know, in other in other cases, you know. And we have a, we have a we have a voice box in our throat right here, you know, the vocal cords, and they produce sound. All right. So we 
we are the trumpets of the flock of the men, are the trumpets of Yahweh by his name of Shah. So he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Alright, Jacob is another name. Alright, for our forefather. Alright. Israel. Alright, that's what we're called Israel. We're not called Jacobites. As a matter of fact, if you look up the word Jacobite, you're gonna find a European, you know, ethnicity. You know, an Edomite ethnic group. I believe it's an Edomite. I'm not sure. It would be Jacob. Scott, we are not Jacobites, we are called Israelites. Alright, which is a the, the, the new name of Israel. We're called the Jacob. Alright, that's why in the book of Psalm, that's like a Psalm. I believe it's Genesis, the 37th chapter, or the 43rd chapter, somewhere around it. Yeah, they mention how uh, their forefather Jacob struggled, you know, it's it like uh, struggle with the angel and you know, beat him down. What's it called? His name was changed to uh, Israel, Israel. All right, which uh, means the copper bells in the in the, in the blue letter. Ultimately, Israel uh, means prince of power. All right, prince of the power. All right, because uh, forget um, Yah means he. Shar, I believe, is prince. Well, I know Allah means power. Allah means power. I'm not talking about that, that, that Muslim guy. Hell no. I'm talking about the Hebrew right here. The Hebrew word for the word, English word God is Allah, you know. And, you know, referring to the powers in the heavens. Allah Hayyim, which consists of Yahweh, about Yahweh Shai. Alright, the angels. And then soon it'll be us when we get the fright in the kingdom. Alright, that's the hope, man. Be transformed in the twinkling of an eye. The scripture saying in the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, I have said, You are gods, but ye shall die like princes. Probably perfectly seen right there. The point right there was, You shall be near gods, because that is where it came to be. And why else would this come? You'd be declared great and rise in the sight of the nations with this word. You know, because this is called, as gods, we're going to rule the earth in righteousness and, and be true judges. Are people going to look up to us? And ask us what, what do we do? Alright? We're gonna be the ones in authority. We're gonna be the ones responsible for healing this earth, man. As you can see, you saw how he is right now. There, there ain't no there, there ain't no healing. There ain't no healing, man. And if anything he wants to, you know, bring in the medical as a, as a, as a you know, resort for a, what's it called a better scenic view. And because it's about everything. Man. You know, you can't even go to the room without seeing, you know, what's it called corruptness there. Or anything like that. I mean, you can't go to these places. You know, some places are nice, but everything is tainted. Right? Like this whole this whole block is freaking dirty, man. You know. So what's it called? And that, and that really shit. Yeah, because it goes deeper than just the, than just the you. All right, you got these you know businesses, organizations. You know, they, they all have to work on this you know damn devil. You know, so this this whole block is freaking the past actually. You know, I think. That, but under us, it won't be so. So he had not dealt so, in verse 1, he had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. Yeah, he had not dealt so with any other nation. No other nation knows about the judgments like we do. All right, they, all, all, all the heathen are supposed to do is, 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 you know, what's it called? Go up to us and be astonished. All right. That does make sense. Blockage, man. Like Esau, you know. And he, he even makes it known that he's a fucking blockage. You know? Although he tries so hard to, you know, be this upright man, you know, just about memorizing a, a whole last paragraph in, in, in perfect English and a perfect pronunciation and sound all austere and, and, and you know, what's it called? Right. Really, he's, he's just a blocker, man. He's a crazy crackhead. You know, what's it called? Esau is a crazy crackhead. Now, that's why they all end up by the time they're like 40 or 50 they'll end up with bald heads you know they're fucking you know with saggy skin you know a lot of a lot of what's it called it's called freckles on their bodies you know the whole body's covered in freckles it's called uh all their hairs go white what's it called they have a little fucking you know, gut but their legs are super skinny arms are super skinny they stink you know they wear glasses like what's it called uh like Robinson, meet the Robinsons, you know, but they're all bald too, so, you know, like this, <laughs> you know, now that's how Esau is, he's a crazy cracker, nothing more but a crazy cracker, in, in, in the suit, 
and talk. And all he does to look professional is what's it called? Uh, nip his beard, you know, shave it. You know, be clean shaven and what's it called? Hold his hands back at parade rest. You know, but he saw nothing more. If you were stripped away from those things, you would see him for the, for, for the crack that he really is. You know? Hey, what's it called uh, in the book of Ecclesiasticus? I just brought another good point. I want to bring another good point. What's it called? Uh, the tenth chapter. It makes mention. It makes a remark. How was it called? A king. You know. So like how, how um. A kingdom. A kingdom. What's it called? Can can show you, the the, the what's it called? The intentions of a king. Just just by looking at his kingdom. And that's what you see here. You see you see, you see all these crack. You go to LA, all you see is freaking streets of crackheads, man. You know, I was there from you know from work at an event and all you see was me busting it down in the middle of the road just waiting then until the until the cops showed up and yet yeah, you know all you see is a bunch of freaking crazy crackheads squeaking, you know, crackheads. All right, so you can, you can see the intentions of the king just by looking at his civilians, by looking at his kingdom. All right, so these men are crackheads. How much more so he's from? The tenth chapter, verse. What's it called? One, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. All right, as a judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. See? So, as a judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So, you know, the image of so called Slack, you know. Yeah, the manner of this man, this devil, you know, this crazy crack that he saw, you know, you know this red hat, this, this buffoon, this basis for men. You know, it is portrayed onto his civilians. Hey, you even got crazy crackheads here, man. You know, this whole block is crackhead. You know, crackhead. L.A., Chicago, Detroit, all, all these cities, New York City, such as Manhattan and things of that sort. What's it called? Uh, Atlanta, Oakland. All, all these damn cities, they're all vibrant with crackheads, man. So you can see what manner of man this devil is just, for, just, 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 just by looking at these actual crackheads here, man. You know, Esau's been tweaking since like 2020, and Esau's been tweaking since forever, man. You know, he, th th this damn devil thought that, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, um, you get the birthright back after thousands of years, but, but he can't, man. He can't get it back. What's it called? This damn devil thought that, what's it called? Uh, he pleased the Lord by offering the Lord, what's it called? You know, cabbage plants, you know? He, he thought he could please the Lord. This crack is so, is so mentally retarded. See, he's so mentally retarded. He thinks that, what's it called? Uh, he could please the Lord by offering freaking, you know, potatoes, tomatoes, cabbage plants. When really the Lord all was asking for was, was meat. That's why our forefather Abel, which is the previous incarnation, our forefather, ja forefather Jacob, what's it called? Abel, what's it called? Uh, he offered up real meat. You know, he, he was a shepherd. He cared for the flock. And he offered it to the Lord. He offered them to the Lord. And the Lord was pleased with him. You know? And this damn devil was... This damn devil really, 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 what's it called? Got, got a bowl of, of, of pottage, you know, a red lentil soup. What's it called? Like giving away his birthright. That's how fucking retarded this damn devil is, man. And he thinks that thousands of years later he can get it back, but the thing he, he can't. You know, that's why he's trying to kill Jacob and all this stuff, you know, being all sly and, and, and sneaky. But it's all just tedious, man. It, it's vain. At the end of the day, you, you lost, man. You even got the big we have the victory. It is written in First Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter. You know, what's it called? We have the victory. Victory over death. You know, old death where it's by sting. You know. So if we have the victory. You don't. And we we will retrieve mortality. You won't. You burn up in a big old bonfire for thousands of years of hardcore bondage. You know, hardcore slavery. And that's that. It's like this is actually, I mean, really, 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 that's the answer to the 12th chapter, verse 13. Again, let us get the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh will keep his commandments, but this is the whole duty of man. Duty of man. Man changed the Israelite man. You know, start off with them. You know, what's it called? Uh, if that is the case, you know, the duty of man, keep his commandments. 
It's called uh, one of our duties is to just honor our fathers. And we honor our fathers. If we honor our fathers, we honor Yahweh by Shimon Shah. That's the main point I want to get out. That's the main topic of the lesson. So, uh, ex Exodus the 20th chapter, verse 12. Fathers didn't give a shit. You know, that's why we're fucking here, you know, across the globe. We're across the whole wide world, man. From the Middle East all the way to America. Can you believe that? We literally crossed the big lake. We literally crossed the transatlantic. Literally saw the, saw the Atlantic Ocean. You know, you have the transatlantic slave trade and even before that back in 730 AD around there. BC, like 730 BC around there, 740 BC, back when uh Northern Kingdom was exiled the land. You know, they were built against what's it called um, Assyria, and then they, they came over here on ships over here to the Americas. You know, so we didn't keep the laws, man. We got we got violated out. Even though the Lord made it well known that the heathen we were kicking out, we were kicked out for the same reason. You know, uh, we got kicked out because what the following the land. All right, we the the sin. So again, the bad days we belong upon the earth, which looks like it the land. Our land, which is given to us, we're not on the land now. What's your work? That's the kind of thing. What's your work? I kind of do a feed. I'm not sure the Lord gave us this land temporarily, but this place is if I get, you know, look a boom. All right, put by a period. You know, what's it called? That's uh, the ICBM. So you see a lot of these spirits out here. What's it called? They're, they're joining the military at, at a mad rate. What's it called? Uh, my brother was speaking to a recruiter. I'm not gonna go much into that, but what's it called? Uh, the computer made to mention how uh, a lot of people want to be Navy SEALs all of a sudden. So, like, the, what's it called? The test that they're gonna do, the physical you know, assessment, it, it is, you know, they demand, they demand that you do more than the minimum. Or they, 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 they require more because of so, the high rate of Navy SEALs, man. So, you have people, a lot, a lot of people doing the military. Which will ultimately spark World War III. And through World War III, you're going to have that big old kaboom, you know, fireworks, parade, you know, like Alba, Ashima, and Shasta, and Kroa. Because it's really going to be a big old parade, man. I remember watching a lesson from one of the Akim a long time ago when we went to how uh, the deliverance is something that's not, it's, it's going to be nothing more than a, than a big old family reunion. And how much more is a big family reunion without without some fireworks, a parade, you know, uh, what's it called? Joy, fear, you know, a lot of emotions striking up. That's what you, that's what you see in the amusement park. That's what, see, that's what you see in the theme park. You know, you, you feel a lot of emotions, a lot of tense emotions. You feel happy, you know, you feel joy, you, 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 feel, you feel, what's it called, that sad at the end, you know, you feel, you feel scared, nervous. You feel, you, you feel like you want to throw up, but you don't at the same time. See, if you feel all these mixed emotions, that's how the world's going to throw it when, when it makes that big deliverance, man. I mean, y'all know that big old parade is, 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 is uh, the chariots of the Lord. All right, because they're coming in the thousands, man. And the, the, the fireworks and the, the ice beams. It's a matter of fact, if I can find it, I believe it was in Jude, verse 6. I with me, I can. Uh, Jude verse. I believe it's right here. I can. Perhaps not. But if any case, if I can really Seventh from Adam, and you can look into that in the genealogy of Adam. That's in Genesis, the fifth chapter, if I'm mistaken. Makes the, or the seventh chapter, something like that. Makes the mention of prophesied of these saying, Behold, the Lord coming with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to 
commands all their ungodly among them with all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken about. Well, so they're going to execute judgment, man. All right, Yahweh is going to be the, the what's it called, main conductor, though. He's going to lead the way. You know? But, as a matter of fact, they're also going to be the ones throwing out fireworks. You see how the parades, you know, some of them throw out fireworks? Well, that, that's what they're going to do because, you know, the fireworks being the fire, they're going to be fire. It's going to be helped by the way the ICBMs, but as well as through uh, the chariots themselves. They're going to be, uh, they're going to release fire. They're going to burn this place like they burn Simon and Gomorrah. Right, so they're gonna burn this place like Sodom and Gomorrah. That's because they're gonna help out the chariot. That's like the ICBMs and burning this place in a big old bonfire as well. A big old lake of fire, as the scriptures say. We ain't talking about no freaking under, under, underworld. The same freaking, what's it called? The same Mortal Kombat. All right, there's no underworld with an overworld and a, and, a, and a higher realm. No, it isn't like that. All right, this ain't even what's it called, Norse mythology, with, with like these nine realms and whatnot. No, all right, hell is a stiff affliction, you know, a condition. And this is our hell right now. So Isaiah the 50, I think it was 60th chapter, verse 15, uh, somewhere around there, 60, 65 I believe it was. Was it 65? Somewhere around there, 66. Yeah, I can't, 66. Isaiah the 66. 6th chapter, verse 15, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Now you see, so, um, yeah, these ice things are gonna spit out ice, what's it called, fire as well, along with the chariots. So with that being said, this is what's going on, you know, hopefully this is what's going on, goes to the point about how we honor your Alba, Shemil Shai, through honoring our biological parents. All right, because if we if that's, that's a commandment, and we keep that commandment, we honor the Father, because we're, we're, we're adhering, what was the call committed, what was the call, we're, we're, we're fulfilling an obligation, we're fulfilling our duty, the law is our duty. All right, uh, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'ra, Ha'kudash, all right, double honor is going to the Apostles, to the Heavenly Apostles and others at Great Millstone with the teachers 100% 100% truth will do real well, you know. And to you, I can do such a good one. A bottle of ball, DTA soon, a little bit out, and a shalom.